Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Look at this. Look at this. It's called Dark Eclipse. It is a PSVR game that uh, was free to download, and I wanted to give it a try to see what to see what redeeming value we have for VR. Um, I am actually having visual problems here. Hang on. In my VR. There we go. I'll bring it back to life. Sorta, maybe, I don't know. We'll see in a second. It appears to be okay on... It's weird, because it appears to be okay on the actual capture, but it doesn't appear to be okay on my TV. This is an R sign that my TV's just on, on its last legs, or maybe, maybe it's a bad cable. That could be even worse. Um, so yeah, the Dark Eclipse is a PSVR game that I have not played in any way, shape, or form. I've been trying to hunt down and find an enjoyable PSVR experience. Something that is uh, a little bit more out there than uh, like Legends of Catalonia, which you might, might not even see the video of because it was awful. It was like an educational tourism thing. This looks dark and creepy and entertaining. And if this turns out to be like Hearthstone, but with a VR helmet, it'll still be more, it'll be better, but um, it'll feel like a bit of a waste. Dark Eclipse Season Zero, right? We're not even in Season One yet. This is the preseason. Let's get let's get our get our ranking up in the preseason. Slightly MMO-ish, or no, not MMO, um, MOBA-ish. Got a feeling that this is going to be a MOBA-style thing, but I think that's actually interesting. A PSVR MOBA and triangle and that, and move it and then attack. Okay, okay. Um, vertical movement, that horizontal movement. Bum -bum. Location. Okay. Power select. Resource gathering. And okay, this is interesting. Uh, sure, let's play the tutorial of this. I've got a feeling that I'm actually going to need this really badly because I'm never, I've never been like a, a MOBA style player. But this is interesting. I'm assuming you have champions and then you have your wee minions. Um, PSVR MOBA game. Not too sure about that as much as anything else. Um, sure, it'll be a super interesting environment. Why is it so dark? I can't see. I've lost my eyes. I can't see anything. Blind. So blind. So very blind. Oh, okay. This is kind of cool, actually. Oh, oh. Using the wrong. Uh, right. Sorry, I lost my hand there for a second. Welcome to the world of Dark Eclipse. In this game, you'll be looking down onto Ow. the field of battle and controlling characters called leaders on their mission to destroy your enemy's base. The red tower you can see in the distance is your opponent's base. The blue tower in front of you is your own. You'll need to make sure it doesn't get destroyed while you're trying to tear down the enemy's stronghold. Now on with the tutorials. Step one of seven, oh God. the play area and moving the view. Learn about some of the most important controls. Hold the move button and move the controller left yeah, and right. Yeah, we're doing it. While holding the circle button, move the controller up and yep. down. Without moving your head, move your hands out of your field of vision. 
If you then quickly tap the move button twice, you'll turn to face in that direction. Hold your hand out towards an object you'd like to look at and rotate the view in order to look directly at it. Hold the start button to reset your viewpoint. Oh. Okay. Got Step it. two of seven, the battle menu. Learn about a menu that gives you an at-a-glance overview of the state of play. Keeping tabs on your leaders, soldiers, towers, and the number of quarks you've earned yes. is vital. I see that. The battle menu gives you all that information at a glance. Right. Press the square button to open the battle menu. Now. Step three of seven. Leader movement. I'll take this Learn how to move leaders and set them up to ambush enemies. Okay, move them. Hold the T button to grab the control polygon above your leader's head. Then move it to the circle indicated and release. Oh, oh that kind of works actually. I really like this. Hold the T button to grab your leader's control polygon. Then press and... Hold the T button to grab your leader's control polygon. Then press and hold the move button and move the map to the dis move your leader to the circle indicated. This is actually I'm actually kind of on board with this. I really like this actually. Oh, come. <laughs> Stand by a tree in order to hide beneath its branches, rendering yourself invisible to the enemy. You can then lurk there until the ideal opportunity to strike presents itself. Step 4 of 7, Building Towers. Learn how to build the towers that form the basis of many vital combat strategies. Move your character to a mount point. Once there, tap on a tower totem with the triangle button and select from the available towers. Okay. Oh. You need to move this because I keep on hitting the mic. Button, uh, that one. The resources required to build towers can be harvested from trees. To do this, move your leader close to a tree and tap the polygon that appears with the triangle button to have your soldiers chop it down. The resources required to build towers can be harvested from trees. To do this, move your leader close to a tree and tap the polygon that appears with the triangle button to have your soldiers chop it down. The resources required to build towers can be harvested from trees. To do this, move your leader close to a tree and tap the polygon that appears with the triangle button to have your soldiers chop it down. Who goes there? I like this. When soldiers get close enough to a mount point, let my they will offload it. any resources they are carrying. Once enough resources have been gathered, a tower can be completed. Once a tower has been built on a given mount point, no other towers may be erected on adjacent mount points. Ah, oh, right. Okay. As your leader's overall levels increase, what do you want? you'll eventually be able to build five types of tower, each with its own special characteristics and capabilities. If you build a tower of each type, your base tower will be able to attack the enemy base tower directly. Right. Step five of seven, battle and skills. Learn how to fight and use special abilities. That'd be useful. Each leader can only see a certain distance, and this will in turn limit how far you can see. Certain objects, such as enemy base towers, can be seen even when outside your leader's field of vision. There's an enemy called an Uther out there somewhere. Seek it out and defeat it. If you move toward them, you'll attack automatically when they come in range. Oh, crap. Press the triangle button while holding the control button. 
This will enable your leader to activate any available skills. Ah, I can't even go now. Defeating eaters will cause your leader's level to increase. Level up quickly to gain an advantage huh. over your opponent. Defeating larger eaters can earn you some very useful buffs, and defeating legendary eaters can reduce damage from enemy towers. Ah, <laughs> the mic. Whoops. <laughs> A new eater has appeared close to your tower. Ow. Towers will attack enemies when allied leaders are within range. Move your leader close to the tower and defeat the eater with tower attacks. Step 6 of 7. Recalling and strengthening soldiers. Learn how to bring your soldiers back to base and make them stronger. Tap a tower with the triangle button when within range to recall your leader to your Come base. Me again and you're Please move your leader to a soldier strengthening point. I'll let my blade do the talking. Um. Touch a soldier located on the disc and press the triangle button to strengthen them. Strengthening your soldiers more than three times will grant you additional units. Any soldiers who have been defeated will be revived when their leader is near a tower. Step 7 of 7. Victory. Come on. Gain victory by destroying the enemy base. Base towers won't attack back if there isn't an allied leader nearby, nor will they fight back if no other allied towers are standing. When the chance arises, attack the enemy's base tower in order to destroy it and win the Woo! game. Be aware that attack skills won't be able to damage it. a game that's actually very similar to this, it's almost like an RTS strat kind of thing. Um, I think it's like a, uh, something about villains or whatever it was. A no no heroes or villain, no heroes allowed. That might be. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I need to back. That's weird because it makes you switch back to the gamepad for the menu screen. Alright, let's give, let's give an AI a game up for the give a, We'll give a game a game. I'm assuming we can see some heroes or something. Yeah! Your turn. Oh, they pick one first and then you pick one. Um, oh, and there's ones that are locked. Yeah, I think pick one here. God damn yeah. Maybe we can multiple skin. Bullseye! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Wow! Okay. So they're kind of like uh, heroes, then there's monsters. I am so going to be a bitch with a sword. And... Big monster? Butsukate kuru! Butsukate! Hey! Yutsi! Arigatou gozaimasu! Veronica, Chulaya, and Zolf. Zolf, Sakura, Raina. 
All right. Works for me. Um, doing Veronica is badass Russian gun wielding bitch. <laughs> it's just, I've got a feeling that's what the character's design is meant to be, so I don't, I don't think I'm actually going to be offensive by saying that in any shape or form. Oh god, this is going to be like the last game I play or the last video I make before I take a break for uh, so you. <laughs> this will very quickly become a mukbang if I actually get this. I don't know if I don't take too long get this. Like... Perhaps in taking a life or two, we might learn how to live. Oh, oh yeah. Yukuza! Welcome to Aldus. Bang! An enemy has built a tower. Yeah, I'm trying to build a tower. Cutting up. So, yeah, then you go. And you can actually go further ahead. And you go. Look, can't you? Emon, what do you got? Ah! 
Merci. Let's lighten things up. Would you mind hurrying up? An enemy has built a tower. Admiring the view. Sorry, Abira. Atatamekeageru. An ally has built a tower. An 
legendary details appeared. An ally has destroyed a tower. An enemy has built a tower. An ally has destroyed a tower. This can't be happening! An ally has destroyed a tower. Enemy leader defeated. Oh, this is like, look like a... An ally has destroyed a tower. Let's go for it! Don't enough guys with us now. Don't care anymore. <laughs> Gone! Everybody kill him! They need what? 30 seconds to reclaim it? Gone! Go on, take him down! All three of them. I know this is a beginner's ring, but that, that was kind of fun to do. Yeah, baby! Victory! Victory! Alright, do you know what that, I, get, I can get on board with that. So essentially it's a tower defense, you build a warrior wall of stuff, and then you can actually essentially run into attack. So I leveled up each of their kind of guys enough to mitigate the damage, went in as soon as I saw one of them, and took them down, and that was me. Just luckily, kind of going, alright, everybody, I know where they are now, they're easy to find. Okay, uh, level one, level one, so I, I level six to all of them, so like I... If, you, if the computer had been smarter, it would have actually done better, but I think it was just me uh, binging stuff immediately. Yeah, that actually felt pretty good. Um, hmm. Alright, I'm on board with that. Oh. <laughs> Controller died out in the middle of that. Alright, so yeah, that was actually pretty cool to do. Uh, I'm on board with this. Uh, I can play more of this, it's just it does eat a lot of your time away. Yeah. Get quests, get extra bonuses. And, um,. Hey! I'm assuming collection is actually you pick up stuff. Nice. You can get skins. And your hand, your leaders, unlock them. So, yeah, all of these are actually used in in game currency. Or viable currency, obviously. And there's certain ones that are actually in rotation at the moment. You don't buy them. Right. That's the rotation. That's skins for those characters, obviously. That would make it. Uh, <laughs> VR editions. Oh, uh, because you're actually playing in the VR, so you actually get certain ones in a VR. Okay, cool. And sets you can buy all together. Oh, Bob, real money. Real money all over the place. Player icons. Yeah. Good money. And then come on, have your brain with the different game. The flash card. Spend your money on. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was, I was you know, like, super on board up for the majority of that, but uh, yeah, version 0.9.9.2, Dark Eclipse, that was actually pretty fun, I like the idea of it, I like the idea of a virtual board, I, the fact that I can move around it quite comfortably, the VR controls, I probably, I might actually stick with the uh, gamepad, but even then the gamepad is designed to be played one-handed, so, be weird, but can be done, uh, with the gamepad either way, but it still works the same way. Uh, I'm assuming directional control moves your hand around, and then your actual active buttons are uh, L, R, Y, B, X, A. <laughs> or R1, R2, uh, square, triangle, X, circle. It doesn't not to confuse anybody. But yeah, Dark Clips on the PS4. Um, we're all worth giving a try. Take a look. Um, I like the artwork style on it. I actually like the gameplay on it. Um, don't think I would actually get... I don't get into these kind of tower defense games a lot, but uh, this one actually got me interested. It's, it's, uh, uniqueness it has, uh, has something that actually is a unique selling point, a USP to me. But um, I don't think I'd spend too much money on the in-game currency. As far as I know, just for the fact that I'd try whatever stuff's on the free rotation, and if I find that I loved one or the other more than the others, I'd probably buy that character. Victoria, she gave me my first win, so even though she's in free rotation at the moment, I'd be tempted, be tempted to pick her up. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. This has actually been really enjoyable to go through with um, you guys in attendance. 
If you haven't tried Dark Clips before and you don't want to give it a try outside of VR, you can always check out videos here and you can always comment underneath because I'll play more games and you can get to check it out a little bit more. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see all you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye.